This seemingly simplistic animation from Tom Pop had me blown away, and I just couldn't resist trying to rebuild it with code. Take a look at my approach. If we study the motion of this circle, you may think that it's following a figure eight path. However, it's just a circle that's rotating, but what we're doing is switching up the transform origin when it gets to the middle of the screen. So it's literally just doing two rotations. And if we understand how this one circle is moving, it's not gonna be too difficult to apply the same motion to multiple circles. Here, you'll see I'm creating multiple circles following the same animation, and we get this really interesting snake-like animation, all right? I have just the right number of circles with the perfect amount of spacing so that we get this very interesting pattern that we can follow. And once we've done something like that, one quick little edit gets us very close to the original Tom Pop animation that I was trying to mimic. It's not an exact replica. I think they use less circles, but I just wanted to show you one of the many ways you can approach something like this. When you break it all down to what just one of these circles is doing, it's not such a big leap to apply the same animation to multiple circles. And here's a quick look at the animation code that rotates the circle twice with two different transform origins. To check it out in more depth, see the link below. Special thanks again to Tom Pop for inspiring me with this awesome animation. And for more tips like this, be sure to visit creativecodingclub.com. See you in the next video.